Hello and welcome to my bench. Today on request how to test a tube without a tube tester. Well, that is uh, what uh, we gonna um, investigate uh, today and uh, therefore uh, you already uh, see uh, the setup, the test set setup down here. But before um, we dive into that, safety first. So don't do this if you are not really sure on what you are doing and if you are not trained to work with uh, high voltages. So this is really dangerous to your life. So really don't do it and don't do it without having a without having a transformer so this is a, a safety device and uh, this is a, a safety transformer so don't do it without having this uh, transformer and don't do it if your um, electricity installation do not have a RCD in place. So that is uh, what uh, we have here in uh, our lab and uh, once again because uh, this is really no game we are um, we are working here with uh, high voltages and uh, that is really really um, difficult and it is dangerous to your life um, so basically uh, what uh, we are doing here is um, a rebuild of a yeah, normal uh, tube tester. So maybe uh, something uh, like uh, this here. So uh, this is my uh, tube tester um, where you uh, can uh, test uh, all the different uh, tubes. So you can uh, find here all the different uh, sockets and um, well for any um, tube you uh, have your own reference card so uh, this down here is uh, a reference card for uh, ECC uh, 85 or uh, for our American audience this is a 6 uh, AQ8 and um, well this um, card um, is a kind of uh, let me call it programming card so that uh, you tell um, the tube tester by uh, putting uh, this um, things here into it so you make now uh, the connection um, which which is uh, needed so you have uh, to do some more where you have all uh, these holes in um, this uh, test card and uh, then afterwards you can uh, read uh, at least if uh, your tube is uh, good or uh, is it uh, questionable or you can't use it anymore. And uh, well, uh, you have uh, for any tube you have uh, such a card. So you really have uh, a whole bunch of uh, different cards so that you can uh, test all these uh, tubes. Well, but uh, coming back uh, to our circuit, uh, so uh, down uh, here um, we have, uh, for example, a tube, uh, what we uh, want to test, and uh, we have uh, set up uh, different uh, meters uh, where we can read at least uh, all the uh, parameters which are uh, needed um, to, yeah, to, to, to have really an overview 
of uh, what uh, is going on in our circuit and uh, so therefore we have set up uh, this meter to read uh, the main um, voltage which uh, is in DC and uh, we have uh, this meter which is uh, reading the grid voltage for uh, G2 so that is uh, our screen um, voltage and um, of course uh, we have uh, down uh, where is it? Uh, there we have our heating voltage and uh, up there uh, we will have our uh, G1 so that is uh, to operate um, at least uh, the tube so that is our G1 grid um, which is uh, to um, to adjust at least the current uh, through um, you know our tube so and uh, that uh, is then the test setup well but uh, as usual uh, our little um, yeah schematic uh, on uh, what uh, we are doing here so <clears throat> the setup uh, might uh, look a bit uh, confusing to you but uh, it is uh, at least really simple so what uh, we are doing here is uh, that uh, we have here um, our tube and uh, the tube which uh, with its uh, anode and the cathode the grid one and the screen so these are uh, the connections uh, we need and of course uh, our filament so our heating system and um, our uh, different uh, meters uh, in place so that we uh, really uh, can see um, what's going on in uh, our circuit so therefore we uh, are monitoring uh, here from uh, our, um, our power supply uh, which is at least um, our uh, isolation uh, transformer our safety uh, transformer uh, where we get uh, over a rectifier and um, a filter cap uh, our 200 volt uh, DC and uh, this uh, voltage uh, we are going to monitor uh, with a voltmeter and uh, that will be uh, this guy as uh, I already said before and uh, then uh, we will uh, monitor the current which uh, will uh, flow through our um, tube because uh, at least uh, this reading here is you know the most important reading to uh, evaluate uh, the tube uh, at the end so this will uh, tell us this uh, current which we have here will uh, tell us if uh, this, the, the tube is uh, finally okay or um, yeah if uh, or uh, if you uh, can't use it uh, anymore and then of course um, our screen uh, voltage so that is uh, uh, G2 um, in uh, our case uh, it will be 100 uh, volt and uh, that reading uh, we will uh, take with our second uh, voltmeter and um, well then uh, I have uh, as well uh, um, a current an amp meter for uh, our screen uh, current which uh, will be uh, the Echelent um, and uh, well uh, but the most important fact is uh, that uh, we have uh, this reading and uh, 
this reading will be taken uh, by this uh, meter. So that is uh, basically uh, very uh, simple as you uh, might uh, see. So um, what we need to do is um, we uh, crank up uh, our isolation uh, transformer until um, we have uh, at uh, this socket here our 200 uh, volt DC and as I uh, already uh, said before I mean this uh, is AC of course but uh, in uh, this uh, box down here uh, there we have a rectifier and uh, there we have uh, filter caps so electrolytic uh, caps and uh, therefore we have here a DC at the socket and um, well we will uh, crank up our um, isolation uh, transformer until we read uh, 200 uh, volt down here and then we adjust our pot which uh, is uh, this guy here until we can read on this meter 100 volt and then um, well we have uh, connected uh, our heating system which uh, will be uh, monitored uh, down here and we have our G1 voltage which is uh, the negative uh, voltage at our gate um, 1 or grid or uh, however you want to call it it is uh, G1 in all uh, documentations it is um, uh, G1 okay so but um, well where do I know from what uh, are valid um, uh, values. I mean therefore uh, it is uh, very simple we uh, use as well these uh, cards uh, because uh, these cards uh, are easy to get um, yeah just uh, google for it uh, so you can uh, get them uh, on uh, the internet I don't uh, know if uh, they are really uh, called uh, tube tester reference cards or whatever I'm sure you uh, know it much better than me um, but uh, these uh, reference cards are available um, uh, on the internet uh, these uh, are of course uh, the cards for my tube tester um, and uh, at least it doesn't matter uh, for which uh, tube testers uh, the reference uh, card is you simply uh, need to know uh, the values uh, on which uh, the tube has been tested in the tube tester and uh, therefore and uh, that is uh, really uh, the uh, important uh, information these are um, the test datas um, so um, therefore we see ah okay uh, for test I have here on uh, the bench where can we read it down there it is the EL84 which is uh, equal to the 6BQ5 and uh, uh, well this is an AF uh, final tube so um, well it is a well-known um, tube in, in the radio world um, and uh, this here are uh, the test uh, datas on uh, which this tube tester manufacturer uh, did uh, finally uh, make uh, or perform the tests and uh, therefore um, I use this uh, test um, uh, values, I mean uh, the uh, heating um, voltage uh, is, is it's, uh, clear because it is an E 
a tube or a six uh, tube for uh, the American uh, audience. So that means it is always um, a 6.3 voltage uh, heating system. But then our uh, UA, which is our anode uh, voltage, is uh, has to be set to 200 volt DC. Um, our uh, G1 is set to zero voltage and uh, for testing if you can adjust the current through the tube um, we can uh, crank up uh, the negative uh, voltage and then we need to see um, the uh, current through the tube uh, dropping down and uh, secondly we have uh, to adjust our UG2 which is a screen voltage and uh, this uh, has to be set to 100 volt DC. Um, well, you see um, in, in, in the early days uh, for uh, the heating system uh, it was a 6.3 volt uh, AC um, what uh, they uh, have used uh, in, 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 in these days but uh, we do it uh, with uh, DC um, so that is um, well you know it is you you can simply use 6.3 uh, volt uh, DC as well and uh, if you uh, look into modern um, yeah maybe high-end um, uh, amps so tube amps you find that uh, the tubes um, which are used there are uh, supplied uh, with uh, DC. So we do it uh, with uh, DC uh, as well. So that uh, does not uh, change any to um, our uh, expected um, values. Well, so that is what uh, we have uh, to set and then um, yeah, when I go uh, down here you uh, can see uh, the reading and um, what you can uh, see here for instance is that with, well I know that uh, exactly this uh, point is uh, 27 milliamps um, so, uh, well, this is 20, this is uh, 40, so right in the middle must be 30 and uh, here we have uh, 27. I know it from uh, another uh, reference card. So what we really need to have uh, as minimum for a good um, tube is a reading of uh, 27 milliamps and uh, if you read more so that is uh, just fine but um, the minimum we need to see is uh, 27 milliamps and then we know um, the tube is good if uh, the reading is below uh, then we have an area where uh, you know um, it is uh, questionable if uh, this uh, tube is working or not but then um, we will have uh, as well an area where we definitely can say yeah this uh, tube uh, can't be used uh, any longer so uh, it is uh, worn out um, and therefore you have to replace it. So um, it uh, really doesn't uh, matter um, which uh, reference uh, cards uh, you are going to use because um, you can uh, simp oh uh, you can't see it right now sorry uh, so you can uh, simply uh, change uh, this values so maybe uh, you can set uh, the anode uh, voltage to 250 and maybe uh, the screen voltage uh, to 150 or to maybe 70 volt so um, that uh, depends on what uh, the manufacturer on uh, the tube meter uh, the tube tester 
has um, done um, when uh, he did uh, his uh, settings and his measurements because all uh, the uh, outcome so in our case our 27 milliamps um, are going uh, back uh, at least to what uh, has been set here in uh, our reference uh, data. So you uh, may see um, what we are doing here uh, is uh, really um, no uh, rocket uh, science. Uh, it is uh, really simple. We are reading uh, the current which uh, is flowing through um, the uh, tube um, and uh, this has to be read with a respective um, uh, anode uh, voltage and uh, screen voltage and of course uh, a grid um, G1 uh, voltage so or gate whatever you want to call it um, in our case we have seen uh, the reading of 27 milliamps has been taken with uh, zero volt uh, at G1 and uh, well that's it um, basically uh, very simple and uh, when you are really in the desperate need of um, performing a tube test and you do not have a tube tester so this is a way how you can check a tube but please once again this is dangerous to your life because you are playing here uh, with uh, high voltage and uh, this voltages uh, can really easily kill you so please don't do it if you do not know what you are doing here so just ask um, uh, a lab uh, close to you um, who might uh, be able to help you but don't do it if you do not really know what you are doing here okay uh, let's uh, start uh, now um, the picture becomes a little bit uh, unstable because I uh, hold it uh, in uh, my hand and um, yeah many uh, things uh, will uh, happen more or less uh, simultaneously here uh, on the bench and therefore okay let's start so um, the uh, tube uh, is already uh, connected and uh, all uh, the wiring um, as you may uh, see um, has been done uh, the amp meters are uh, connected in the normal way um, so I hope uh, you know how uh, an amp meter will be uh, connected uh, to a circuit so um, that is uh, not um, what I'm going to um, uh, tell here in this video uh, first of all we start with uh, our um, with our heating system and uh, now I um, will um, switch on uh, the heater but uh, yeah uh, have a look uh, one more uh, important uh, information so our uh, filament our heating uh, system will draw uh, according uh, this um, data um, 750 milliamps so that is uh, what we uh, at least expect um, from uh, our uh, tube so I gonna now uh, put it in and you see right at the beginning uh, the current is uh, much higher but now uh, current uh, is uh, dropping so that means uh, the uh, tube is uh, heating and you see now it uh, goes yeah it is exactly 750 milliamps so that is uh, what uh, the uh, documents are telling us and uh, you may see here uh, at the tube that uh, you know uh, the heater is switched on and uh, now 
it's a tube yeah I can't see it <laughs> that's clear okay so now um, I'm uh, starting to increase uh, the AC at uh, my uh, safety transformer my isolation transformer but we do not watch uh, the voltage here on the meter what we are doing is we watch it here because this voltage will be this here as uh, we said before so now I start uh, cranking uh, it up and uh, what we have seen is that uh, we expect oh sorry that we expect uh, 200 uh, volt uh, so let me adjust it uh, to 200 uh, volts because that is what we need to perform uh, our test okay so yeah I mean this is tube um, technique and uh, so there it uh, is not uh, one uh, volt what counts but anyway uh, this here is now 105 volt so this is uh, our uh, screen uh, voltage and uh, we can adjust it uh, with uh, this guy here and uh, we want to set it to uh, 100 uh, volt because that uh, is our G2 volt so I would say this is uh, good enough so now we have uh, 200 at the anode and um, 100 volt at uh, G2 so we do not have uh, current uh, which is uh, flying uh, through uh, the tube because we have minus 24 uh, minus many uh, 24.5 volt at uh, G1 so at uh, our gate 1 so that uh, means um, this negative uh, voltage prevent uh, the current to flow uh, through the tube and uh, therefore to get a reading uh, we must uh, turn it down to zero because uh, remember our card uh, told us uh, we have to take this reading with zero volt at uh, G1 okay so now let's uh, turn down our G1 our gate uh, voltage to uh, zero and I will uh, show our uh, main current uh, through the tube down uh, here and now you see uh, that uh, current start to fly and now we have zero volt uh, G1 and what we can read down here is that we have 33.3 milliamps through our tube and that is great I mean um, with uh, nearly 100 volt G2 voltage and 200 volt G, uh, uh, anode voltage we reach uh, at least 33 milliamps um, in on our uh, amp uh, meter and uh, if we uh, look back here on uh, our reference card we set uh, that uh, already 27 milliamp will be uh, good and uh, uh, once again we read uh, 33.3 and that means um, this tube is uh, totally good totally good and that means we can say great we can use this tube okay um, I have uh, down here uh, a second EL84 uh, 
and uh, let us uh, change um, this uh, tube into this test and uh, let's see what uh, that means. Ah, another one. Uh, just just uh, before we uh, change uh, this tube down there, when I now increase the negative voltage uh, to the G1, you can see that uh, the current through um, the uh, tube is uh, going down. Now we have minus uh, 4 volt um, at G1 and uh, we do have only 7.3 milliamps through um, the tube. And uh, when I go and uh, crank now the negative voltage at uh, the G1 up, then you see uh, the tube is uh, closing and uh, no current uh, can flow uh, any longer. So now it is uh, like uh, that uh, the, the tube uh, is switched off by 8.4 negative gate or G1 voltage. Okay, so I've now uh, changed uh, uh, the tubes. <laughs> These tubes uh, are getting really hot, so uh, I had to wait a little bit until uh, I can grab it. Okay, so uh, our second tube is in, and uh, we do now uh, exactly uh, the same as uh, we did uh, before. First of all, I put uh, back uh, our heating system and uh, you see a uh, strong uh, current is uh, drawn until um, the uh, tube is uh, on uh, temperature and uh, well you see this uh, tube is drawing 770 milliamps 760 so now uh, the tube seems to be yeah, you can see it glowing down there. Um, now it is on 750, so that is uh, what uh, the specs are telling us. Okay, I'm now switching back our isolation transformer, which uh, brings up uh, 200 volt uh, at the anode and uh, 100 volt at the G1. But our uh, negative uh, G1, our gate voltage, uh, is still um, too high and no current can flow through the tube. So therefore, let, uh, uh, let us reduce um, the uh, this reflection here, so that is a little bit annoying. Uh, I hope you can read it uh, any anyway. So uh, I'm now uh, drop our uh, negative voltage uh, down to zero, and uh, yeah. So now it is uh, really zero, and uh, yeah. What you can see here is that this tube does not reach uh, our minimum requirement. So this tube uh, is only able to uh, deliver um, 24 milliamps and uh, well that uh, means that uh, we out uh, of uh, the good uh, area so we are uh, in the area of uh, questionable so that means hmm maybe uh, this uh, tube uh, work but um, yeah it is not sure so it is uh, questionable so you see um, you really are uh, able to uh, evaluate um, your yeah that is uh, important uh, that you uh, can see that you can adjust it so you have really access uh, to the tube so this is uh, important uh, as well so you always should uh, check if you uh, have access uh, via 
uh, G1 and uh, that you can adjust your uh, current so that is important as well but well anyway um, I uh, hope you can uh, see that uh, we are really able uh, to test uh, a tube even um, if you do not own uh, a right uh, or a real uh, tube tester and uh, well when you are uh, in the desperate uh, need uh, of uh, testing uh, a tube this is a way uh, to do it but uh, please once again safety first you you really have high voltages uh, here on uh, the bench so please uh, don't do it uh, as long you uh, do not really know what you are doing here well uh, so that's uh, it and um, I hope uh, that uh, it was um, informative uh, for um, you and uh, I hope you like this video a bit so uh, and if uh, that uh, makes a bit sense to you please give me a thumb up for this uh, video and uh, if you do not have subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe uh, to my channel and uh, catch you next time